Looking at replacing that stock, bulky, overweight, and plain ugly tow hook that came with your 6th gen Camaro? I'm James, the online car show. Today we're going to be reviewing and installing a uh, Featherlight tow hook from Z01addons.com. Without hesitation, let's get started. <laughs> All right, now just to give you all a view of the actual uh, tow hooks themselves, on the right side here, we've got the stock tow hook from uh, GM that came with the car. Uh, very ugly welds on it and so forth. Weighed over 650 grams, so I wasn't able to actually get a weight on this tow hook um, because of my scale, but here's the ZL1addons.com tow hook very nice quality seems to be aluminum so forth uh it did weigh in somewhere between 590 grams and 600 grams as you can see on one side it's got their website and printed on the back side i guess and on the front side we've got toe uh very nice clear coat paint on the actual hook itself if you can see the shine there uh, it seems to be very nice build quality uh, I can see some machining marks in here, so this may have actually been machined. Um, but there you have a look at the actual tow hook itself. And on the other side, we've got where it screw in and a uh, little set nut there with a 732nd Allen key you can use on that. And uh, there you have it. Let's get this installed in the car. All right, to get started, we're gonna to need to take off the factory grill insert where you can see the tow hook behind it. This is on the left side of the front grill. Uh, if you look up at the top here at this little ledge, you're gonna see a little cutout mark. All you simply have to do is stick your finger in there, pull out, it's that simple. Uh, don't be scared to put a little bit of pressure. This is built to actually pull out from that point so it just pops right out. All right, next you're gonna see your screw hole in here. Make sure there's no debris, anything in there. We'll give it a good clean off, whatnot. Uh, we've got the tow hook here. What you're gonna to wanna to do first, take your 732nd Allen key and loosen this set nut right here toward the, uh, the adjustment uh, screw or what, whatnot, whatever you wanna call this washer, uh, is loose. You're gonna to wanna to set it back further than you see here because this is minus at the final adjustment. So I would set it, you know, make sure it's somewhere up here in the top portion uh, and loose. And then what you're gonna go ahead and do is screw in your the tow hook all the way until it stops. And when you screw it in all the way to it stops, it's gonna be, you know, somewhere uh, looking it's going to be somewhere around this range a little bit past where it actually needs to be uh, so what you want to do uh, when you're screwing it in is get it all the way to that point where it tightens down it's going to be a little bit past and loosen it all the way back out and then what you're going to do is now that you know the point and be careful loosen it out this doesn't roll around but now that you know the approximate point where it is, you're gonna push your, or screw it in about a quarter turn or whatnot more, and then tighten that uh, second, 730 seconds Allen key down. And then you're gonna screw it back in. And then see where it sits or whatnot and make more adjustments. This could take, you know, uh, it took me honestly to get it set good, like I have it in the video. It took me three or four iterations. It wasn't too bad. Uh, but that's pretty much the quickest way I could come up with on setting this. Uh, if y'all have got a better way of doing it, let me know. Uh, and after you've got this all the way set and it's good and tight, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be super tight, hand tight. What you're gonna wanna do is get another 5 sixteenths Allen key, I believe, let's see. Yeah, 5 sixteenths Allen key. And just make sure that your uh, screw here is tight on there, or at least snug. Doesn't have to be super tight, but snug to where it's not banging around. 
Um, but there you have it. Very easy install. As you can see on the video, it took us maybe uh, five, 10 minutes. Quick install, it looks good on the car. Seems to match the red of the car really good too. Uh, so I'm liking it. Two thumbs up on this. Uh, great little add-on from zl1addons.com. And uh, if you are looking to replace that ugly tow hook that came with your six gen Camaro, here's a great option to do it with. Just to give you some views of it on the car, as mentioned, this is uh, fully functional. Those that attend track days, it's a great little uh, add-on to save your front end if you got to be towed out or anything. Z01addons.com Featherlight Tow Hook for a 6 Gen Camaro. I noticed they did have uh, other models for Dodges, Mustangs, uh, Jaguars, Porsches, Corvettes. So they are kind of known for their uh, tow hook quality. Those that are looking for a good, good brand and whatnot, just trust it, I guess. Well, there you have it. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. I've got some uh, more add-ons coming up here this week. I'm thinking about doing the uh, Z01addons.com wicker bill and uh, getting that installed on the car. Let me know what y'all think about that. Also, uh, I've got finally got just about done with the review video for the uh, Cobra i950 radar detector for $40. Uh, it does actually work. I'm going to get you all a review on that. Pretty cool little system for $40. Uh, also, good news from Flowmaster. I do have the exhaust in, so that's going to be installed next week. And I'll start the review video on the uh, American Thunder exhaust system for the Camaro 6 Gen. All right. Thanks for watching my videos, everyone. Uh, Y'all have a great week, and uh, I'll catch y'all later.